Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, a channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And here in my dream garage, I'm building out my 2020 Jeep Gladiator to be an overlanding rig. So, I started this video already and I was working on my winch until I discovered I'm not happy with this winch uh, mounting plate. So, I looked online, it looks like uh, the worn winch mounting plate is actually back ordered for a while. So maybe the winch won't get installed for a while. But anyways, I have tons of other projects right here that we are gonna do. So, let's jump into it because we're gonna install the Vision X back floodlights. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long time subscriber, you can see things look a little bit different behind me. I have managed to turn a four car garage into a one car garage. You see, I am doing three overlanding builds at once. A Ford Expedition, a Jeep Gladiator, and then a camper. Uh, outside this garage door is the camper and it is 50% ripped apart. I don't feel like putting it back together to actually uh, put the Jeep in where the workspace is. So I decided I'll just pull in the Jeep this way so I could work on this during the bad weather. And right now it is raining and windy outside so I wouldn't be working on the camper anyways, but it's nice and warm and toasty in here so I can work on the Gladiator. Now today we are going to be installing the Vision X uh, rear floodlights. You remove this reflector and then you will have some floodlights back there. It looks like an easy install. I'm gonna install it and see how good they look. Here's what the kit includes. It includes the two lights. This one's a little scratched up, unfortunately, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk there. It's got the wiring harness to take it all the way back to the front. And then it comes with a, a switch kit harness uh, if you want to use this switch. I luckily have the auxiliary uh, switch that comes with the car. So I'm not gonna be using most of that harness. I'm gonna tap into that. So let's get installing. All right guys, I just climbed under the vehicle. This looks pretty straightforward. It looks like six little nuts you gotta take off. Um, but before we do that, just a reminder, I'm giving away a $100 Amazon gift card at the end of the month. All you gotta do to enter is be subscribed to the channel, like this video, and comment down below. I choose a random video at the end of the month, and then a random comment from that video, and that could be you. All right, so here's the back of the reflector. We have one, two, three nuts or bolts there. Uh, then we can remove this reflector. Also, I just gotta cut this uh, clip off here so I can remove this wire from the back of this reflector. Let's get that out. I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, easy to get out as far as technically, but it's a pain in the butt to get to this bolt. Oh, uh, screw all the way up here. Might be easier to take the bumper off. All right, now with those removed, uh, you know, just put them in your parts bin. And this is a pretty straightforward install. You use the same screws it comes with to screw these on. Obviously, it's directional, one's on one side, one's on the other side. So, let's get to that. All right guys, well it's pretty straightforward, but I tell you what, uh, it's a pain in the ass. Now I'm gonna run the wire all the way to the front and then check in with you then. All righty, I have run the wire all the way from the back to the front here. This is the additional wire harness that I don't need a bunch of it. I did plug it in here and now I'm just gonna, I don't know, maybe leave 24 inches and then zip tie it up in a bundle, but connect this to the auxiliary wires. If you don't know, there are these open-ended wires here that connect to the auxiliary switch interior, on the interior here. So one and two have a thick gauge wire to hold up to 40 amps. Uh, you'll see there the thicker gauge. And three and four are uh, 15 amp circuits. So, I'm gonna hook this up to number four because it makes sense, reverse lights, four. And then I have some ditch lights I'm gonna install, uh, a light bar I'm gonna install. That's gonna be uh, two and three. And then number one, I'm gonna actually do some sort of communication. I don't know if it's a ham radio or uh, GSRM or FM radio. I'm still figuring that out. 
but let's get wiring to this and check what these lights look like and just like that it is all wired up uh, in case you were wondering auxiliary 4 is the blue wire apparently on my car uh, so that's all hardwired in uh, let me just show you I have set the auxiliary switches to work off the battery just while I'm testing it so the 4 is on there we go and let's check out the lights back here there we go it's looking nice and bright uh, they're gonna be really cool uh, in the nighttime when I'm backing up or even just doing anything behind the truck it would be nice just to have those on so that's great now guys I have a ton more videos left to do on the gladiator so I'm not gonna show you what these look like at night right now so be sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out uh, when I do a video recapping this whole entire build but next video I am going to be installing my ditch lights which mount right here I got a bracket that mounts right here and then I got some Baja design amber ditch lights so be sure you check that out and until next time I'll see you then